Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr. with Total Seal Piston Rings. And while we invented the gapless piston ring right here in Phoenix, Arizona, to find the origin of the piston ring, we have to come here to the UK. Nearly 25 years before Nicholas Otto invented the spark ignited internal combustion engine, the type of engine we find in cars today, an English engineer by the name of John Ramsbottom invented the piston ring in 1852 and he did it for steam engines. By the way, that's before the first oil well was ever drilled. So before we had gasoline or even engines, the Industrial Revolution brought us steam engines and locomotives, which is why we're here at the National Rail Museum in York, England. This is the birthplace of the piston ring. Prior to Mr. Ramsbottom's stroke of genius, steam engine pistons feature grooves packed with hemp or cotton to improve sealing. Of course, this didn't work that well or that long, which led to his invention of the metallic split ring design. Over the next decade, he continued to refine his design and eventually a steam engine could go 4,000 miles before needing to replace the ring. That was a significant improvement in performance and durability. Over 170 years later, the piston ring is still evolving and enabling greater engine performance and durability. The testament to that fact is also right here in England. This is Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. You see, Britain isn't just home of the piston ring, it's also the home of the most advanced internal combustion engines in the world, Formula One engines. Since Total Seal manufactures piston rings for Formula One engines, Engines, we happen to know a thing or two about these engineering marvels. At over 50% thermal efficiency, today's Formula One engines are the most efficient combustion engines ever made. That's nearly double a conventional gasoline engine, even 50% greater than a turbo diesel engine. The folks at Mercedes AMG, who built Lewis Hamilton's World Championship winning engines, have actually made a video explaining this fact. We'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. One of the reasons for that incredible efficiency lies in the fact that the piston ring accounts for over 40% of all engine friction. It's the number one source of friction in an engine. So the best way to increase engine efficiency and durability goes back to Mr. Ramsbottom's invention, the piston ring. The evolution of piston ring materials and coatings has allowed for a dramatic improvement in piston ring performance and durability. Today's piston rings are thinner, lighter, and stronger than your grandfather's piston rings. Innovations like gas-ported piston rings are possible because of today's advanced materials and coatings. You see, thinner piston rings aren't necessarily weaker. In fact, they can be stronger if they're made out of the correct materials and coatings. And here's real world proof of that fact. In 2000, state-of-the-art NASCAR piston rings were 043, 043, three millimeter ductile molly rings. Now those rings only lasted one race weekend. It's a 500 mile race, and then they'd be down five to eight horsepower, and the engine would be rebuilt. Today, state-of-the-art in NASCAR is a 0.5 millimeter top ring, 0.6 millimeter second ring, and two millimeter oil ring. That's half the thickness of what state-of-the-art was 20 years ago. But those thinner steel PDD coated rings live three full race weekends without losing any power. So that's triple the life without any performance loss. That's the advantage of better materials and better coatings, which enable greater engine efficiency and durability through innovative piston ring design. It's not just racing engines that take advantage of thin ring technology. OEMs around the world have embraced the efficiency of thinner piston rings. For example, a 1972 small block Chevy used 564th 
564 3 16th piston rings. Today, a turbocharged direct injection engine from the factory uses a 1.2 millimeter, 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter ring package. That's half the ring thickness on an engine that has twice the horsepower per cubic inch. Today's modern piston rings enable greater engine efficiency and durability. I think John Ramsbottom would be really proud to see the evolution of his piston ring design. Well, I hope you enjoyed the history and evolution of piston rings. For more information, check out TotalSeal.com. And for more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.